Yo. And it's about that time that I do this video. I don't know how many times I've tried to do it over and over and over again because I don't do script shit, period. And when I do try to do it, that shit does not work at all whatsoever. So I don't even attempt to do a script. There's a lot of shit that I can say, but I want to restrict myself on how much I want to say in a section of a video and then continue on with other stuff that portrays to the same thing that you know what i'm saying i just can't do scripts so nine times out of ten when i do videos like these they're all literally from the dome <laughs> and they of course they go sound off the dome too because of how passionate i get but anyway this video is about Motifus and Motifus being like like not the biggest joke of racing games, but at the moment the joke in my opinion and it's really because of problems that I've been having with this game that are not resolved. Not not only that, but Ubisoft refused to even un not I don't even think they refuse to understand. <laughs> like they they refuse to help me in this situation as if it's some type of fucking, you know, internet box situation where, oh, did you turn it on or off? Like, you know what I mean? Type B. Shit is irritating. And so, I'm making this video because despite what all the, you know, like the glazing meat writers are going to say after I'm done with this video. Because, like, there there's meat writers for Motifist. I guarantee you there is meat writers. Gla there, are, there are glazing bastards on Motifist. That will kind, not kindly, that will gladly, if they get a notification for this video, go onto them damn comments and type the craziest paragraph that I'm just going to skim through and see that it's basically nothing. Because that ain't pointing out shit that I'm pointing out on this video. Like I said to the post notifications, part, well, most want to read those part six, I think. Should be out pretty soon, hopefully. I want to make it my goal to have it come out as soon as possible. This video is going out first, regardless of most wanted redux. So, when this video drops, then the next one is going to be most wanted redux. Anyway, a lot of people know, at least people who seen the video of me saying that the game is still broken. Um, my rap editor is still broken as it was till this day. And it irritates me because I like I said in the beginning of the video, like I don't think I mentioned the email part, but I mean you already know what I mean by, you know, telling Ubisoft about the shit and they just not giving a fuck about it. Like Ubisoft, they don't give a fuck about fixing the game. And the I'ma tell you they don't know. Well, I'm going to tell you that they don't give a fuck about fixing the game because literally this shit has been going on since that stupid little update they did that required the servers to shut down for them to do it. And it didn't even fix nothing. In fact, it actually gave people like me a whole new glitch in the game. And that glitch, oh, oh I can't even give it a name for real. I don't even think I can give it a name. I'm... I'm I'm dedicated to believe that Ubisoft did this with the intention of dropping off some 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 glitches in the game for people so that they have a reason to cuss their ass out back to back until the shit is fixed. Because I'm definitely one of them motherfuckers. My shit is still broken to this day. I still can't make raps on my game because regardless of what platform I'm on, I can't even use, I can't even see my own decals on my cars. And if I try to use the change material, while that does work, it doesn't because it doesn't show the decal changing shape in however I want it to change shape. It doesn't even show my custom decals. It don't show anything at all. And that's what irritates me. Oh, you're miserable. Let me list this shit off. Ah, uh, hell. You just bought an iPhone 2G. It still run good. You're a washed up career rapper. Sans career. Undertale? That damn virus, you put my computer through the work. The immune system kicked in. You be having all the lights on. The electric bill can't get much higher. I was trying to get you some rewards points for the electric company. You open carry assault rifles with no bullets. 
I put rocks in the clip, bro. It'll still shoot. It's just been going on since that day they did that stupid little update. <laughs> they didn't even care to even, you know, respond as a as an actual human. That's another problem right there. These fucking bots and shit. Yeah, I get it. They're set up to deal with certain people or something like that, or maybe just being a placeholder until somebody per like an so actual human an actual human can get their hands on the phone you know or whatever the fuck but my situation this here is ridiculous because this is literally a bot response twice in a row i'm saying twice in a row i don't think this is an actual motherfucker on you in in you be soft saying these messages I don't think this is an actual human saying these. These are literally bot responses. And that's what irritates me. Because not only did I even mention about the fact that it's been broken since then and then whatever. I, I think I mentioned it's been broken since then or whatever. But I even showed the screenshots of the fact that my shit don't show on the car. Now, me sending a full video about the shit not working, you know, showing the, showing what it does, ain't gonna do no favors either because, like I said, bot responses. So I'm not finna send a whole video showing my situation when I'm just getting bot responses, and then they just and then they closing the fucking claim or whatever they closing it after four whole days the reason why it's closing for four whole days is because when i message these people i will go now nah, i can understand holiday shit personally i don't think they deserve the holiday because ain't no way they go on holiday and the game is still broken they do the december 6th update you can't even put raps on the hoonigan cars which is already an l in this you know it's already it's already a fat l in my book but the rap editor my rap editor is still broken which is just as much of a bigger L than anything else because this glitch came from Ubisoft themselves. And I'm not capping because it makes total sense. One of them being that when the December 6th update came, when I did the custom show and it concluded, I did the custom show way, way long ago before the, even, before the last day even came. You know what I'm saying? I did it on the first day it, ref it refreshed. On December 6th, I go on the game and I see that it says that I it says that I can't collect <laughs> my fucking rewards. It's what it's telling me is to register for it. Now sometimes it bugs out. Sometimes it does that. And it probably it usually just takes like maybe a couple game closes and or maybe you just go out of the car meet after a couple times, you know, it's so like one, two, three times. You know, some sometimes it fixes, but this time that shit ain't give me my rewards and i'm sitting there like bro there's and i'm doing this on pc for if y'all i'm gonna say this right now for those of you who are who are planning on getting this game and y'all think that the custom show will not you know do you no favors and you know will fuck you over all the time because the people, because the, the people that get platinum are people that do these designs that if, if um, a 12 year old grown man that defend that Need for Speed should be more realistic like Gran Turismo and Forza and Forza Horizon and all that shit were to, you know, appear right in front of you and say that they're number one on the the come the the custom show. Uh, that's all you're going to be seeing in top 10. So. Yeah, but on PC, you have a better chance because the player base on PC is just that small when it comes to custom show, period. Some it's period, too. Even on, even on, definitely on crew, too. But on Motorfest, it's small. And because cross-play, maybe it's a different experience for everybody else. But for me, I'm, all, I'm always getting platinum on the custom show as long as i'm doing the custom show right then and there as soon as the summit refreshes other than that i get platinum every fucking time simple as that it's as it's easy because on pc the player base is small so anyway my i didn't get my i wasn't able to get my rewards on the custom show and i'm trying to understand how did that even happen and of course it makes total sense it's because it's ubisoft these are the same motherfuckers who didn't do a day one pass for Motorfest and did the worst midlife update for the game and probably the worst DLC update <laughs> or whatever expansion of the worst 
update they could ever imagine because not only you can't even put the wraps on any of the Hoonigan cars, I already know somebody's going to come come out of nowhere but oh well it's because of exclusivity and maybe maybe scotto and all the other people don't want their cars being tortured like that but listen bro i'm tired of that <laughs> that shouldn't be an excuse like you should be able to put a rap on cars like those regardless now if it's custom now if it's car carbon fiber all the way that's a whole different story ubisoft love to be on bullshit when it comes to cars that or carbon fiber for example the ktm that's in hypercar it's full carbon fiber the only thing you can do is put custom parts on the car but on the touring car side of that same ktm same parts of every damn thing maybe a spoiler is just an additional thing but you could put a wrap on that one you just can't remove the ktm logo it's a damn shame now i'm gonna tell you something sneaky that ubisoft did one time and it's funny as hell because I don't know if people even picked up on it. For people who had this problem, I was definitely one of the people. Literally, I wish I was capping about this. If y'all don't know, for people who had this problem with the 918, I don't know if it was literally everybody that got their hands on the game. Or it was just a select few like me with this rap editor glitch. Unless it was just a select few that had this problem with the 918. The 918, no matter what you did to it, customization, wrap, vanity, um, custom parts, paint, anything you did to that car, if it wasn't, maybe if it wasn't upgrades, I don't know, if, I don't know if it did it on upgrades too, but unless it was, unless it was, you know, tuning that you was doing to the car and that was it, the game would crash every time you were to try to uh, back out of the, whatever, whatever category you click on. And for me... I had the worst experience with this because I didn't notice and I spent hours upon hours on a wrap for that car, including the fact that the glitch that's been in the wrap editor since day one of Motorfest was still there to that day. Well, not to that day, but still there that day. And I had to come back with that. So you already know the problems I was coming across with the fact that I was doing raps. Um, I will throw in a little honorable mention about the, you know, how broken this game is. I have this Avija, right? The purchasable Avija. Not the one you get from the playlist. But the one that you are able to buy. Um, If you were to make a rap on that car, you won't even be able to make a rap fully like you should. Because the car bugs out. <laughs> With one, the, the left side of the car, kid you not, that left side somehow connects to the back end of the right side of the car. And so, what happens is, everything that's on that left side will go on to the other side. It will cut off right there where the door is at, you know what I'm saying? And so you could, you can't do nothing to it, but to take that part of, well, not take that part of it off, but that side of the wrap off because it's, it's just going to cross over the other way and you won't be able to take it off on that way. I even got to, if I still got it, if I don't, I'm going to get the screenshot just so, I, just so y'all know him. Maybe, maybe it was secretly fixed like what they did with the 918 because for some reason, you know, they, they, they had a little bit of the energy to get off their ass and uh, fix something. <laughs> what ended up happening is that when I backed out, the game immediately crashed when I backed out of the rap editor completely. Like back to where it gave me all the other options that I'm able to do to the car. When it did that, I was freaking out. And I was freaking out rightfully so because I done spent hours on this rap. I had to fight with some shit that the game refused to let me do. And that shit was a pain in the ass. And I finally got it done. But then that happened. So I was, I was losing my marbles. So after a couple times of going back into the game. Seeing that the rap was still there. And the game still crashing whenever I put it on. The, you know, eventually I just got to the point where. Also, sorry if you hear a screaming basher in the background. I'm going to cuss his ass out later. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, after that, I eventually just said, fuck it, I'm just going to close the game out completely. And then I'm going to go back in the game. And maybe, maybe it should work. Maybe it should work. Maybe it'll be fixed by that point. 
you know what I'm saying? Maybe all I had to do was just close the game out. And then the rap editor, at least the rap would still be saved. Because that was my main concern. I didn't give a fuck about nothing else but that rap on that car. And when I got back in there, the rap was gone. That shit was finito. And when I say that shit pissed me off, it pissed me off. Because, keep in mind, I spent hours on that rap. And just for that to just get deleted because of Ubisoft being incompetent to fix their own shit. I just, I I flipped shit. I lost my damn mind at that point. I was just out of it. Now, the secret, not not the, the, the dookie thing that they did with this car is that it was a summit that came where you had to use the 918 in a specific event. And what they did was... They secretly went in the game and patched the 918 Spider, bro. They went into the game secretively and patched the 918. Now, how did I know they did this secretively? Because when I got on the game, I didn't get no update of any kind showing up on my shit. And no, it didn't update by itself when I had my PC off because there's no way it would do that. Every time there's an update for Motorfest or any game period that's through a Ubisoft client or whatever the fuck, it never updates by itself. I have to click, I have to physically click on the game for it to even start a update if the game has an update to be made. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't no secret update that just, I just happened to miss because maybe it was just that one day. It just updated by itself, and I just never realized it. They secretly, they secretly went into the game, went to the 918, and patched it. <laughs> they patched the broken ass car, the car that was so broken that even the TDF with the broken exhaust placements. When you use nitrous, it will literally come out from literally nowhere. When you use nitrous on the TDF. It was more broken than the TDF because no matter what you did to the car, it will crash the game. Even in what you did to it, it will never save. And they secretively went into the game and patched it. Now, you tell me if these people are, you know, people that know how to do right by making the game work. Like, like they patched the 918 secretively out of nowhere. And I know this because it will always crash when I tried using it. But on that one, that one faithful time that I tried it again, it all of a sudden was working. Like I said, I had no update uh, screen show up on my stuff when I clicked on it. I have to actually click on the game for the update to start if it has an update. So it didn't do it by itself. <laughs> Every single game that I have that's through Ubisoft. They all require me to click on the game for the update to start if there's an update for it. So, yeah. They patched the 918 secretively, but refused to do a day one patch for the game for the custom, you know, for the custom decals. Um, Did a midlife update that made the game even worse and then fixed nothing and then gave people like me a whole new glitch to the game that will not get fixed anytime soon because they are just that fuck. King lazy. The fact that the DLC or the expansion or whatever is it, it, it was just pointless. I was not excited. I was until that day when I came to realize that the rap editor, if it's not fixed, this whole update is dookie because that's the one thing that mattered to me the most. I don't mind racing on the game. I have personal best videos and shit. And I would do them again. I can, like right now, I could get back on the game, do a run, and I could be satisfied with that run. And depending on what race it is, I don't fucking know. It probably, I don't know what race it would have been. But it would have been a, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm decently fast at the game. So I'm not just a rap editor. I like to race on the game too. But I'm not finna spend all my time only racing. Like I, I spend most of my time doing raps than actually doing races. On Motorfest, I wanted to take it more serious though, because it's a fresh game for everybody. And the crew too's been out for so long that getting back into that game, as if it was brand new, and you wanted to learn the game and be fast in it. You will take, it will be forever until you could actually, and I mean actually do that with, like, no problems. Like, you you will be struggling trying to learn the crew, too, from 
bare bones like that. <laughs> but with Mortal Fans, it's brand new. And I just don't have that thrill no more because I can't put raps on my cars. Like, I had plans to make raps on this game, like my Taiku shit. But can't do that because you'll be soft or lazy bastards. They don't know how to fucking fix their own game. And they refuse to do. No, actually, it's not that they don't know how to fix their game. They just refuse to fix it when they should. And when they try to, they make it worse. Now, for the December 6th update, it was already in the shitter anyway because. The the problem that Motorfest has had plus still has is that the drop rate for gold pieces are horrible. Straight dookie. Like if you had to compare them to the crew two, the crew two has better drop rates for gold pieces than Motorfest. Because when I say I spent more than a day to get a car done, I mean literally I spent more than a day. Like I spent at least three whole days trying to trying to get nitro chemists. Or if not Nitro Chemist, then get alone fucking Loot Digger for a fucking vehicle. <laughs> when I say that shit. And then the fact that planes and boats are still in the crew, period. It's even worse because then you got those events that feel long as shit. But you don't get shit for it. And that's... I refuse to do the boats and planes. Those are the only ones I don't have done yet. And the demolition shit. Other than that. I have a good amount of my, you know, classes with Nitro Chemist. Because I was dedicated to the game at that point. But December 6th, this update made the game even worse. So they purposely made it to where if you grind a race for too long, you start to get worse rewards. Meaning that you... Probably won't be getting nowhere near a, a good gold pieces and, and pieces that you need. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit's horrible. And it's really their way of trying to combat motherfuckers who use these scripts and these macros to constantly go to the, you know, activities back to back over and over again just to get parts and repping all that shit without even lifting a finger. That's them trying to combat them motherfuckers. So them, them niggas are literally the reason why we have this shitty ass update. Because of them motherfuckers. Like, I, it, I'm not going to say who did it because I don't care. Whoever did it, who even participated in this shit, are, this, are the reasons why this update came. This update with this horrible, horrible feature that comes into the game to make grinding for parts even worse as if it wasn't already worse enough. And then on top of that, they patched the the shortcut. <laughs> I call it, it's a shortcut. For, it's, it's a fucking shortcut, bro. Like, the route might be set for you, but... It's still a fucking shortcut because there's no checkpoints. It's it's literally point A to point B type event. So they patched that. They patched the Express event where you was able to, you know, reset by a certain point And it would have you just that closer to the finish line, which was good. It was good because that was, that was the event I always did back to back on God. Like I did that event so many times of every single car that I tried to do. I, like, it was the best event for me to do. I wasn't doing the Kiss Me, Call Me, or none of those shits because they didn't feel worth it at that point. And they felt too long for, again, horrible, horrible drop rates for gold pieces. And yet alone trying to get a loot digger. It ain't even with loot digger. Even with a, a full set of loot digger with all the eight fixes, all the legend points, all that pointed towards just the parts, you still don't get the right you still don't get the right amount because yeah so uh they patched that event so now you have to do the whole event as is which it's long as shit in my opinion somebody's gonna be like it ain't long at all you just complaining no it's 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 pretty fucking long like if you compare the run you compare a run of that event without the shortcut and then with the shortcut it's that it's literally that much of a time difference because it's short, it's short, but the route itself is long. So taking that shortcut was always the best thing to happen. But since they patched it, you can't do it no more. So now you have to rely on, on events like Kiss Me, Call Me with these stupid ass, like, uh, AIs and shit. Just constantly on dumb shit. It's, it's like, bro, 
horrible. Like, the December 6th update was, quite frankly, the hit or miss for Motifest. And for me, it was the most craziest miss. And it's all about the choice of Ubisoft. And like I said, I know it's going to be meat glazing motherfuckers that don't come out of nowhere saying, bro, why you talking bad about the game? It ain't even been a year yet. <laughs> as much as I would love to make that very moment a joke because of Ubisoft. Ubisoft don't give a fuck about fixing their game. And so, why should I give a fuck? Like, well, I should give a fuck about the fact that I spent $120 on the game. And before somebody try to say that, oh, well, it sounds like a you problem. Shouldn't have spent $120 on a game? Listen, my nigga. Once you convince these motherfuckers, whoever came up with the idea to make $70 as the new price tag for AAA title games that come out, when you have a conference with whoever the motherfucker who did that and get them to change it back to $59, then, then you can say that. Stop paying $70 for a standard edition game. If I want to spend $70 for a standard edition game, that shit better give me some shit that I'm getting early when I get the game. Like, I better be getting the day one and it better be unique for as long as possible. Other than that, I will gladly spend $120 because spending $120 at this point is like spending $70 on a fucking standard edition game. You just getting you just getting a lot of shit out of it. Simple as that. And with a $70 price tag on a standard edition game, you ain't getting jack shit for that. So yeah, like I said, once you have a conference with that motherfucker and gets and gets them to change it back to fifty nine dollars for triple A title games, then then okay, I can understand. But till then, I don't give a flying fuck because it'll be as if I'm am spending seventy dollars. The only difference is I like the crew. Period. So I'm gonna spend one hundred twenty because I want everything that's gonna come with the game that I don't feel like waiting for. <laughs> But, yeah, that that's Motorfest. The current joke of racing games at this point. And it's all because of Ubisoft. Meat writers, I know they're going to come out the woodworks trying to cuss me out because I'm speaking the truth. But, it is what it is. Anyway, that's about it. And I'll catch y'all later.